Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter N. N is for nachos. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little nacho scene. Let's begin! This is what you'll need for today's drawing. First, you'll need a piece of paper or a drawing pad. This is a dollar store drawing pad. It's eight and a half by 11 inches. You'll need a pencil, an eraser. If you have an old paintbrush lying around that you've never used for paint, it's great to wipe off dust and eraser bits from your page. I got that at the dollar store. You're also going to need some color. I have a red color. It's kind of an orangey red, but you can use any kind of red. I have orange. I have yellow. And I have a black coloring pencil. But I'm going to be using, instead of the black coloring pencil, I'm going to use a black fine tip marker. If you have one, great. If not, you can use the black coloring pencil. So let me clear off everything and we can start. Make sure there's no dust here. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the cheese that's coming out of the bowl. So watch what I do here. I'm drawing a line straight across. And then I'm going like this. I'm making like, this is the cheese melting out of the bowl. And you'll see what I mean after. So just draw a straight line and then some squiggly lines like cheese is melting. Now what we're going to do is draw the bowl. Draw a line down like this and then a curve and then a line up like that. Now do you see why I started with the cheese? <laughs> it was just easier that way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw three nacho chips and they're triangles. So watch, one is going to be here. One is going to be here. And one is going to be here. Got to fit him in the bowl. There we go. He's a little skinnier. Okay, so now let's put some faces on them. I'm going to draw two oval shapes for each eye and then a small oval in the middle, not in the middle, at the bottom for the pupil. And I'm going to give him an open smile like this. Now this one in the middle is a little silly, so we're going to have I think it's a she. Her eyes are going to be closed, so two little semicircles like that. A big smile with a tongue. Okay, and now this one. Hmm, let me see, what do I want to do with this one? We're going to give him two big eyes also. They're going to be a little closer together because he's smaller. Now watch what I do with the pupils. I'm putting them on the side like this instead of at the bottom. That's going to make it look, when we color that in, it's going to make it look like he's looking at her. And he's going to have a crooked little smile too. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to draw a little bit of cheese on top of this nacho here. And that's why we're going to erase a little bit, but let's let's draw watch what I do. A little bit of cheese on top of this nacho with some cheese flying off her head. <laughs> okay? Now let's take our eraser and I want you to erase 
the triangle line inside that cheesy top on her head. And if you erase a little bit of the other triangle or part of the cheese on top, don't worry. You can always draw it back in. And I just realized we usually start these drawing lessons by writing out the word and I forgot to do that. So we're going to do that right after this, okay? So I erased a little bit of the cheese. I'll call it her cheese hat. <laughs> oh, I would love to have a cheese hat. Okay. I'm a cheese fanatic. I love cheese. There we go. So that's all drawn in. Now why don't we go ahead and do what we should have done at the beginning. Whenever I think of cheese, I, I lose I lose my train of thought. <laughs> so let's draw a capital N for Nacho. And let's draw a small N. And let's write out the word Nachos. So let's do a capital N. A C H O and S. There we go nachos. We did things a little backwards today, but that's all right. So we've got our nachos all drawn out. We've written our word and our letters. Now we can start coloring in. Now what I'm going to do is my cheese is going to be the orange color. My nachos are going to be yellow and the bowl is going to be red. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the nachos. So I'm taking my yellow color and I'm going to color in all of the nachos, but I'm going to be really careful not to get any yellow into the eyes at all or on the tongue because I think I'm going to give her a little red tongue too. Okay, so don't get any yellow into the eyes, into the tongue, or onto the cheese. Even if you get some on the cheese, it's no big deal because we're going to be putting orange and orange is darker than yellow. So don't worry about that. Just try not to get them in the eyes or on her tongue. Now, if you're using a coloring pencil or a crayon, make sure you turn your pencil or your crayon once in a while. Turn it. That way you don't wear it down all on one side. If you wear it down all on one side, it breaks easier. And you have to keep sharpening and you you'll wear down your pencil too fast. I'm being very careful not to get any yellow into the eyes. And I'm not pressing down hard at all. You don't have to press down hard because we're going to add more color after more layers. And I'll tell you about that when we get there. I just have to be careful not to get any yellow into the eyes. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And you can get yellow into the mouth. We might fill that in with black after. We'll see. Don't forget to turn your pencil and press very lightly. No need to hurt your hand by pressing hard. Okay, so that's my first layer of yellow. That means I've colored it once. I'm going to put a second layer of yellow, which means I'm going to color it a second time. And it's going to make the yellow more vibrant and a little more colorful. Turn your pencil. 
Can you see the difference between one layer and two layers? I think two layers looks a lot better. If you want to put two layers or three layers, it's up to you. Or if you want to keep it at one layer, that's great. If you're using markers, you probably don't need to put in another layer because markers are pretty vibrant. Okay, so I've done my second layer. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two nachos. Remember this middle one, try not to get it in the tongue. And if you can, try not to get it in the cheese. But if you do, don't worry about that. Just mainly don't get it into her tongue. See, she's acting a little silly. She's having fun. She splashed her head into the cheese. <laughs> She's making her friends laugh. See, I got some yellow in there. It doesn't matter. Just not on the tongue. I love nachos. I actually do make my own tortilla chips. Here's a picture. I make them with uh, the flour tortillas that you can get at the store. I tried making my own tortillas and I can never get it right, so I end up buying them. But I cut them up in triangles, just with scissors. I'm being careful not to get any yellow into that tongue. If you do, don't worry. We're gonna be putting red, and red is darker than yellow, so don't worry too much. Okay, I'm going to start a second layer. I'm going to color it in a second time. Don't forget to turn your pencil. Yes, yeah, so I cut up the tortillas into triangles and I mix them up with some olive oil and just a little, little bit of salt and I bake them in the oven and they come out nice and crispy. And I can make nachos with those. If mom and dad are interested, I'll put all of my recipe links in the description for you. They're so easy to make. Because most of the time when you buy tortillas, or not tortillas, uh, nacho chips. Yeah, they're called tortilla chips. Usually they're made with corn. And I have a little bit of a corn allergy. I can't eat corn too much. So I have to make my own out of flour tortillas and they're, they end up being really, really good. Okay, so she's done. Now let's do this little fella here. Try not to get any yellow into the eyes, okay? I also make my own nacho cheese dip. Ooh. <laughs> Here's a picture of that. Delicious stuff. Homemade tortilla chips, homemade nacho cheese dip. It doesn't last very long on the table. <laughs> but I love cheese, all kinds of cheese. I make my own cheese and I'm a cheese fanatic. Actually, there is a word for someone who likes cheese. I'm just going to go in and put a second layer, and I'm going to be careful not to get any yellow into the eyes. And don't forget to turn your pencil, my friends. I'm talking and talking and talking, and I forgot. Are you okay, Raven? Oh. <laughs> my dog, Raven, is a Rottweiler, and she's a big girl. When she lays down, she really goes boom. <laughs> yeah, so the, the word I was, I was going to teach you today is called turophile. Can you say it? Turophile. Turophile. And it means you are a fancier of cheese. 
which means you fancy cheese, and that means you love cheese. So I am a Turophile. I love cheese. Okay, so I'm done with my yellow. I'm going to start actually the orange now to color in all of the cheese. So basically it's on top here, those three little spots and this cheese here, okay? So as I go for the little ones, I'm going to apply a second layer immediately just so that I don't forget. So it's nice and orange. Okay. Now I'm going to do the top of her head where she dipped her head into the cheese. Don't forget to turn your pencil. Do you guys like nachos? Have you ever had nachos? How do you make them? See, I got a little yellow into there, but it doesn't matter. I'm coloring right over it with the orange. And I'm gonna put a second layer on so you're not gonna see that yellow at all. And even if you do, it's no big deal. Okay, her little cheese hat. I'm gonna put a second layer on now. Coloring it in a second time. And I'm gonna turn my pencil. really makes a difference that second layer, doesn't it? I mean, you can really see the difference here. How are you guys doing? Are you turning your pencil? Am I bugging you enough about that? <laughs> okay, so her cheese hat is all done. Now I'm gonna do this area here. I wanna try not to get any orange into the yellow chips, but if some comes out here, it's no big deal again. We're gonna be coloring that in red. And red is a little darker than orange, so. You see how I'm coloring? I color in little circles like that. And when I'm doing large areas, I'll do large circles like this. I like it better than doing straight lines because I don't really like to see lines. forget to turn your pencil. We're using a lot of color today for the orange and the red so if you need to stop and go in and sharpen your pencil go ahead. you're enjoying this. Are you guys having fun? Are you thinking about food all, all the time like I am? <laughs> Turn your pencil, don't forget. layer done. I'm going to go in and put a second layer now. I want that cheese to be nice and orange.
Don't forget to turn your pencil. Do you guys like Mexican food? I like it as long as it's not too hot. You know, sometimes there's hot peppers and things and oh, what's that other stuff? Tabasco sauce? Really hot sauces. I don't like hot stuff like that. My stomach can't handle it. I had a friend once, he was crazy. He he loved hot food. He would eat he would put so much hot sauce on everything that he would have to, when he was eating, he would have to stop and go, because ah, it was so hot. <laughs> and he would be sweating as he was eating. And I kept, his name was Eric, and I kept asking Eric, what are you doing? Do you even enjoy what you're eating <laughs> with all that hot sauce? He's like, oh, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Was so silly. Okay, I think that's okay. I might just quickly do a little third layer here, just some areas where I think might need a little more orange. I'm not being detailed or specific, just a quick third layer. There we go. Okay, well, I'm done with the orange. I'm going to take my red color now. This one is called Poppy Red. I guess it's kind of an orangey red. Let me see if I like that or not. No, I'm not crazy about that. You know what? I'm going to find a darker red here. These are the uh, coloring pencils I have. These are these are nice pencils. They're, they're a little expensive. You don't need to have expensive pencils, but I just wanted to show you the ones that I have. Okay, let me see. What about this one? Hmm, not sure. What about this one? Is that the same color? A little different. Okay, I found my red. Let me just put these away. I like this darker red better. All right, I paused the video there just so I could sharpen my pencil. You probably couldn't notice, but because it's nice and sharp now. I'm just gonna be careful not to get red into the orange. You know what I'm going to do while I'm at it? I'm just going to fill in her tongue while I have a nice sharp point. And I'm going to do a second layer right away. There. She's got a nice red tongue now. Red probably because she had some hot sauce. <laughs> no, I don't like that hot sauce at all. But I like all sorts of Mexican food. And I can show you pictures if it might make you hungry. But there's one thing that I make. It's called huevos rancheros. Don't forget to turn your pencil while I'm talking. <laughs> huevos is eggs in Spanish. So it's basically, here's a picture of that one. It's eggs and I believe there's refried beans in there on a tortilla with some cheese. Huevos rancheros. It's very good. I should make that soon. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And for Halloween one time, <laughs> um, do you know what a burrito is? I guess it's kind of like, it's like a, if you don't know what it is, it's um, a wrap, I guess. 
a tortilla with stuff in it rolled up. But for Halloween one year, I made what I called burritos. <laughs> Here's a picture of them. Frankenstein and it was a lot of fun. Not Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein was the doctor. <laughs> Yeah, that was really, really good. What else have I made? Oh, another one that's really good is Papa's Fritas. That's a potato dish. A lot of these dishes have the same ingredients, but they're, they're just made differently. Okay, so I've done that. I'm gonna do a second layer because I I have a couple of different colors in here, but that's okay. But I want this um, this bowl to be really, really red. So I'm going to give give this a second layer. I might do a third layer, but I'm going to see after the second layer is done. One time I made, what was that thing called? I think it was called a crunch wrap. It was really good. It was, um, I'll show you a picture of that too. You put all your ingredients inside and then you bake it so that it's crunchy. It's called a crunch wrap, so it's a wrap that's crunchy. <laughs> There's sour cream in there and, mm. Tacos too, I like tacos. We, I used to eat tacos before I figured out that corn hurts my stomach because the, um, the tacos, the shells are corn. So I can't eat those anymore. Are you remembering to turn your pencil? because we're using a lot of red here. You can really see the difference between layers. I always say that because when I first started to draw with coloring pencils, and this was not very long ago, I only started learning how to draw as an adult. I drew a little bit when I was a kid, but I, I never really was interested in it until I got, you know, into my 40s. <laughs> and that's when I learned how to draw, and I taught myself from watching other people's videos and reading books and trying it out on my own. You know, experimenting, practicing. So when I started learning to use color, coloring pencils, I didn't know about turning my pencil. I thought I had to push down really hard to get a really dark color or a vibrant color. And I was going through pencils like crazy because they kept breaking. And, I didn't know about layers, and then I read about layers when I was learning about watercolor painting. And I thought to myself, well, shouldn't that apply also to coloring pencils? And it does. So I'm going to go and put in a third layer. I'm just going to go in quickly over the whole thing. I'm coloring on the side here. You see on the side? I'm using the side of my pencil, and I'm just going over it real quick. And when you're using the side of your pencil, that's when you really have to make sure you turn it. Because you can wear down that side really, really quickly if you don't turn it. Then your pencil will break all the time. So yeah, I didn't really understand about layering and turning my pencil. I took a course one time on coloring pencils 
just a beginner course. It was like, I don't know, an hour or something. Someone had it on for free on YouTube, so I followed it. And that's when I learned to turn my pencil. And that teacher talked about layers too. So it's good to know these things. All right. I think I'm done with that. Maybe a little bit more here. There we go. How are you guys doing? Do you like what you're drawing? Did you add enough layers? Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take either black coloring pencil or if you have a little marker, and we're going to outline. Okay, so I'm going to outline everything. Everything that I drew in pencil, I'm outlining, okay? You don't have to, but this is a good practice for you. I can't talk while I'm doing it. <laughs> it's a good practice for patience and paying attention to detail. Because if you want to learn how to be an artist, you need to practice, you need to pay attention to detail, and you need to be patient. Take your time doing your, your artwork. And I can't talk while I'm doing this because I've got to pay attention. There. Okay. And I'm going to do the nacho chips as well. Then we're going to go and color in the eyes. I'll do those little spots up here. And her cheese hat. <laughs> I think that's funny. You might not think it's funny, but I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> All right. When we're finished, I think I'm going to go and get some nachos. <laughs> so now we're going to outline the eyes. Let's outline the eyes and the mouth of all of them. And for the pupils here, let's color those in black. Okay. So we outline the eyes and color in the pupils black. Okay, we'll do that for this guy too. And we just outline the mouth. We don't have to color it in. Okay, so let's do that for all of them. A quick and easy way to make nachos is if you have the chips ready, you put them on a plate that you can put in the microwave, if you have a microwave. And then you put the chips on the plate, you put a little salsa on top, Sprinkle some cheese, put it in the microwave for a minute or two, and you've got a plate of nachos already. It's very quick. It's a nice snack. I might do that when we're finished. <laughs> I can't help it. I love food. How are you guys doing? All right. Let's give this little mouth here. There we go. I think it looks nice when it's all outlined. I think I want to give them some arms. Okay, I'm going to give them some arms. And all you do is 
put a few little squiggly lines like this and maybe three fingers because they're all having fun. She's having fun too. She's jumping in and out of that cheese. <laughs> and this guy, we're going to give him an arm here. There. So I think I'm done with this. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I hope you're happy with yours too. Now don't forget to sign your work. You've just created a beautiful work of art and I want you to sign it, take ownership of it and be proud of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. And remember to mom and dad, if you post your kids art on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me, I'd love to see it. The link is in the description below. So we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.